So someone left this on my page talking about, you know, can can I pray for Wendy Williams? And this automatically made me think about something that I could share with y'all. So I know most people like to come to my page and, uh, you know, get a good word in. And I'm going to show y'all this is how much God be talking to me. So one thing I do know about Wendy is the hot topics. Because my mama always used to say, I'm about to watch Wendy. I'm about to catch these hot, hot topics. Let me watch that real quick. And that's how that's how I know Wendy. Other than that, I don't know nothing about Wendy. I would have never known about Wendy Williams, you know, if it wasn't for my mom always saying that. But I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to show y'all some receipts too. This is how much God be speaking to me. So by you leaving this comment, it, it's... It's, it makes sense to me. It's like it's not um, a coincidence. This is something God want me to share with people and show y'all how God really is too. So it was one morning I I was getting off work and this is where God speak to me the most. Okay, and when I hear from God the most and it's it's like crystal clear. It's in my bathroom. I don't know what it is about my bathroom. Even my sister know. It's something about that bathroom when God started talking. So I was in a bathroom one morning after work, you know, just brushing my teeth. And all of a sudden, I heard, pray for Wendy Williams. And I was like, pray for Wendy Williams? I heard God. And all of a sudden, I became emotional. So I, I let me show y'all right here. I picked up the phone, text my mama, and said, pray for Wendy. And she like, what's wrong with her? I said, I don't know. Y'all going to see it in, see it in the messages you're gonna see that too and so you know after this i just started praying for her god led me to a bible verse y'all and i was trying to find it a few months ago but i can't find it i'm gonna have to go back through my bible and look for it and it was like he was showing me how wendy was crying out to him and so and i was telling my mom about it i said she's hurting something's wrong and she's crying out to god too so i started praying for her in that moment just praying for her and reading this verse but one thing i so i did do some research on wendy i hear from about people i hear from people that you know wendy talked about a lot of people you know pretty much on the disrespectful side and you know stuff like that but i'm gonna show y'all that how even though when people do wrong this is how merciful god is see this opportunity this, this situation right here is just for god to display that his mercy and grace a lot that we don't have i told y'all once people do something to us it's it marks on us forever we don't have that love and grace and mercy like god do and that's why a lot of times people try to make god out to be how they are but but God is nothing like us. God has so much patience with us. Look at this world and how we are towards one another. Every time I read comments, it's just disrespectful. Everybody trying to out know each other, talk down on each other. But I'm showing y'all, God has a lot of mercy. So even though Wendy Williams has this track record that don't look so good, but in God's in God's view, he see more about Wendy than, than we do. Because, I'm, like I said, I don't know nothing about Wendy Williams. And, and then if God bring it to me to pray for her and, you know, crying, you know, and showing me how she's hurting and crying out, you know what I'm saying? That's how you know God love is so real. That's the real, that's the love that we supposed to have, that unconditional and, and agape love. But we don't. But I don't know what's going to happen, the results of it. But I have been praying for Wendy since last year. I've been doing it for a while, and I didn't know why. And I'm going to tell y'all another person that uh, God had gave me a dream about, and that's Britney Spears. And this was probably in 20, 2019, 2020. I had a dream about Britney Spears as well. And he was showing me about her having the victory. And I'm like, where did it come from? So I told somebody in my prayer circle, and they was like, maybe God wants you to pray for her. So honestly, I started, I prayed for Britney Spears too. And then I... After that, it took, what was it? It's, I think it was this year sometime on the news. It was talking about her, you know, getting her rights back. You know, just whatever she's been going through, God showed me her victory. And I'm still praying for her as well. But I'm telling y'all, man, I, this is, I'm telling God has so much grace and mercy for us, even when we don't have it for each other. Because I know a lot, like, man, people already automatically write you off when you do something they don't like or they we think is wrong. But I'm going to tell you, all of us have been living dirty or done done something wrong, said something wrong, somebody done done something to us. But I'm showing you, this is how much God still, he be trying to be fair and just. But I have been praying for Wendy. I just thought this was going to be a good story for me to, for me to share with people and just show you how much God still be 
on our side even when we wrong because he want this is how much God wants everybody to make it. He created us, so he wants us to make it to the kingdom. The bottom line is this right here. No matter what Wendy Williams have done, I hope Wendy Williams see this. No matter what it is that you feel like you've done wrong, we've all done one wrong. But one thing about it, if God has you on his mind, then you still in a good in a good space. If God putting you on random people mind across this world, people that he know that he talk to daily, I talk to God daily. And if he puts you on my mind or anybody else, God is still with you. So I, I'm praying for you, your health, your wealth, and that you get better, whatever it is that you will have a victory. Even having a victory to, you know, when you if you do leave this place and when you do, that God will take your soul. You know, that is victory too, making it to the kingdom. That's also victory. It ain't just about having wealth here. It's about being stored up in the kingdom when the time, when your time come or any of our time come. That is victory as well. So I'm continuing to pray for Wendy regardless of what she have done. In Jesus name, amen.